Hi guys! Today I'll be showing you how to make super chocolatey and fudgy chocolate brownies. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get to it. So before I begin I like to get everything out and prepared. So here I have two packets of milk chocolate, it can be any brand it doesn't really matter. I then have some unsalted butter, dark brown sugar, two eggs, some vanilla extract, cocoa powder and plain flour. I also have my baking tray out which I'm going to line with some grease proof non-stick baking paper. So now we've begun, I've preheated my fan oven at 180 degrees celsius. I'm now breaking up one of the packs of chocolate into chunks and I'm going to melt this in the microwave in 30 second intervals just until it is completely melted. I'm now breaking up the other pack into small pieces and I'm going to chop this finely and set it aside so that we can use it later on. I'm now weighing out my butter which I'm doing 220 grams of unsalted butter and then I'll also be weighing out my dark brown sugar which is 325 grams and then I'm going to get my electric hand mixer and just mix this together until it's all combined and there's no lumps of butter anymore. I'm now going to break in my two eggs along with my two teaspoons of vanilla extract and again I'm going to grab my electric hand mixer and mix this until it becomes light and fluffy. I'm also mixing in my melted chocolate from earlier and ensuring that it's not too hot or else it will begin to cook your eggs. I'm just getting my 125 grams of plain flour along with my 40 grams of cocoa powder and I'm going to fold this in so I make sure that all the dry ingredients are incorporated but just make sure you don't overmix, or else the texture of these brownies will become more cake like and not like fudgy gooey delicious brownies. Here I'm also folding in my chopped chocolate that we set aside earlier. And here we can now transfer our batter into our pre-lined baking tin and I'm just going to smooth it over a couple of times to make sure it's pretty even on top. I'm now going to pop these into the oven which I already preheated earlier at 180 degrees celsius and I'm going to bake for approximately 25 minutes but once those 25 minutes have passed I will check it with a knife just to make sure that it comes out pretty dry. And finally once it's had some time to cool and rest I'll cut it into slices as evenly as possible and serve it onto a board. 